Previously on Soccercraft. Okay, what do I need? Oh, what is going? Oh, uh, no! Hello and welcome to episode 29 of Soccercraft. As you can see there in the last episode, we got attacked by the Fire Nation and chased out of Kyoshi Island. And we flew with Oppo to get away because we can't go back there for a while in order to keep it safe. So that means all my resources that are there are gone for the time being. And I have no armor or tools yet, so I'm going to have to do something about that at the start of today's episode. Ah, that feels much better. At least have some stone tools to do stuff with. So we're out here stranded in the desert. I've still got Appa with me. He escaped with me. And we've set up this water tribe tent. I got this tent design from uh, Good Times with Scar from the Hermitcraft server. Uh, he built it up by Mumbo's base and I really liked it and thought it would fit really nice into my world. So I plopped it down right here. And if we go on the inside, you can see that I've decorated it up kind of similarly to how he did with a bunch of barrels for my storage for this area and a bed to sleep in. And I'm really happy with how this design turned out. Good Times with Scar is an excellent builder and it's great to throw one of his builds down in my world. And I'm going to be taking this tent and moving it soon because we're actually looking for a place to put our starter base for this area. Um, the main build that we're going to be working towards is my Wang Tong library build. That is the next big build of this series and I've done it once before. It is the first video on my YouTube channel is my mega time lapse of my Wang Tong library and I just need to get it in this world. It was on my old world that I lost and I miss it so much. But today we're not going to be working on the Wang Tong library. We're going to be building up our starter area. And I want the starter area to be the Misty Palms Desert Oasis. And I just kind of want to have a little look around this desert, see if I can find some sort of water source, a good spot to put one. And then we'll build up the oasis around that and then plant our tent down and bring Appa over. So yeah, let's go out and look around and see what we can find. And we're not even too far away from where our tent's set up and this actually looks like a pretty good uh, contender for the oasis. We got some water around here. Now let me just see if, oh, there's also a desert temple. Uh, let's get up on top of this hill and see what's around this area. Okay, so I've come up to the top of the hill and I've cranked up my render distance to about 44 chunks and I can see that there's a lot of desert in this area and there's actually a few more water sources that I couldn't see before, some rivers. So if I'm going to use this water source, something I'm going to want to do is drain all of these rivers, but that shouldn't be a problem as long as I can get back to my resources at some point, or at least into my ender chest. That's something I need to do fast, is get an ender chest and I can get all of my old tools from my backup chest back. But with that being said, I do think this is a really nice spot to build up that oasis area. So in part of the plans is going to be draining this out, building up the oasis and trying to get an ender chest today so I can get a handle on some real good tools and actually be able to get some stuff done. So let's go into this desert temple and see if we can get any resources to get a start. Oh, looks like I've already been here don't think there's any chance that there's anything useful left in there so I guess I'll just have to go out and see what I can find on my own and I think the best way to go about getting my ender chest and tools back is to do it in the form of a live stream so make sure to head over to twitch.tv and give me a follow over there if you're interested in catching any of these live streams in the future and after that live stream, we have our ender chest. It was a very successful live stream and now we have access to getting our old tools back. So I'm going to get geared up and let's get ready to get started on our starter base for this area. Ah, oh, it feels much better being able to fly again. All right, so right over here is the area where I want to build up the Misty Palms Oasis. 
and I've gathered a few materials, not a whole lot. I don't have a big plan for everything right now, but I think what I want to do first is kind of prep the area. So that's going to involve draining all the rivers in the area so we can't really see any water and it feels like this is the only water in the area. And maybe I'll shape this uh, pond a little bit and maybe start putting down a little bit of a blueprint of where I want to put buildings. All right, circles are difficult, I admit it, but I went back, tore out that circle, and got this one in place. So I've got the base plans laid out for this area. We're going to have a small village within this circle. We're going to build up a perimeter wall around the village, around the center of the lake here, and we need to put up an iceberg in the middle of the lake. There's a lot of other things, but I also did a lot to prep the area nearby by draining out all of the river because it doesn't make sense for a village to be um, crowding around a pond like this if there's rivers all over the place. So I'm going to continue to drain these rivers in live streams in the future. So once again, follow me on Twitch if you want to catch that. And our plans are to lay sand over everything here that isn't sand to keep it looking cohesive with the rest of the desert. So yeah, now that we've gotten this laid out, I can start thinking about the entrance, which is probably going to be right over here, and the paths leading towards all of the things that are going to go inside of this village. I also don't want to forget to mention the massive mountain that I cleared out, and it... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got some good flight here now. So yeah, you can kind of see the area here, which was sandstone compared to the sand, and this used to be all that mountain area and we've cleared it all out to make it look like a little bit more of a flat desert and it makes it fit into this area a lot and i actually was able to gather all of those materials and i now have ridiculous amounts of sand and sandstone in all of these chests in here so i think this is going to be a definitely used in the building of the walls and pretty much everything going on inside of this village and i'm really excited to get started so let's start breaking some ground and laying out some paths and where things are going to be So now I have everything laid out for how I kind of want this build to go. All of the dirt blocks are representing where I want the paths to go and all the granite is representing all the buildings that I'm going to build up in this area. If we come onto here, go into third person mode and take a good flight into the air, it's the easiest way to see everything and where everything's going to be laid out. We can see how the paths are going to be, we can see a few of the buildings and we can really get an idea of what it might look like. But in the meantime, I've went off into a creative world and I've thought of what I want to do for the wall design. So we might as well hop into a time lapse and let's get this wall up around the village. So 
So now we have the wall complete on the Misty Palms Oasis and we've also started laying out what the paths are going to look like in this area. Now personally I find that dirt, well I forgot I had this head on, personally I find these dirt paths look really good in, uh, in desert biomes. So I'm going to really, I, I want to actually add some podzol to it but I don't have any podzol yet. But this is a lot of coarse dirt and regular dirt and I think that's the next step of laying out this village is getting all the pathways generally laid out. I don't want the pathways to feel complete yet because it helps to kind of mix them in with the buildings but I want to get the pathways kind of started. And another thing I need to look at is starting to get the ice down because after looking at some more reference work it's not there isn't really a pond in the middle of this place. It's more of it's completely the, an iceberg but I want there to be a little bit of water here around the little bit of an iceberg that I'm going to have in the center. So now let's hop into yet another time lapse and get a little bit more work done on the Misty Palms Oasis. And now that we have the paths in place, we can start to have a look at what we're going to do about the houses in this area. So for the houses, if you look at the reference photos, you'll see that everything looks like it's kind of made out of sandstone. But for these builds, I'm planning on doing a lot of sandstone. I'm going to use the colored terracotta again, and I'm probably going to give them wood roofs. I'm trying to update the Misty Palms Oasis based on what it was like in the show. Give it a little bit of a more Minecraft feel and make it just feel like a really nice resort that people would want to come to. Okay, and let's get started on this house over here. I'm going to replace all of these granite blocks with sandstone. Now we're going to decide where the door is going to go. I think on this face would be good and we'll put sandstone around that. As Actually, let's move it over one. Yeah, so it'll be centered off right here and then around the outside on the second layer we're going to do sandstone walls. And then on top of that we're going to take our terracotta of choice. For this house it's going to be yellow terracotta and we're going to wrap that around the outside as well. Now at this point I want to start thinking about what, how I want the roof to peak and I think I want the roof to peak along with this wall along here. So I'm going to build up right in front of this and then get some I think dark oak logs coming along here and then we're going to strip these down and we will uh, use some regular spruce to accent these dark logs. Okay, so now I have the basic roof line in shape. Now I want to come back to all of these points and raise this up and cover it with slabs. Now I think there's probably one right about here. And yeah, this will make it so that our color goes right into the corner here. Then we can fill this middle part in and it looks like we need to do this one and this one as well. And now we have the base shape of the house. Now we just need to pick a few spots to put in some windows. And that's the main idea of these houses that we're going to be putting into this village here. It is just a colorful terracotta sandstone mixed builds and I think it's going to look fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more details and bring you guys back in and show you what the finished product for each house should look like. And this is the basic design of the houses. They're all going to have probably a little bit of a garden. This is a little bigger than most gardens uh, will be. Haven't done any of the interior yet, but yeah, the signs add a really nice accent across the terracotta, spreading that spruce look along and I really like it. And you always need to make sure to add a few bushes around. But I'm starting to run out of time for this episode, so I want to try to get one more building done before the episode's done. And it's going to be this building over here, and it's going to be the restaurant that the Avatar gang met the professor that pointed them in the direction of Wang Tong's library. So we'll probably have the entrance around here, and then they can come in over 
order their drinks and there'll be a few tables around. Uh, now, I probably won't have time to do all the interiors in this episode, but in between episodes, I plan on doing some live stream and c collecting some time lapses to put into the next episode of me working on this area. But let's get started on this building, shall we? What I'm thinking is we make this, obviously it's gonna be a restaurant, it's gonna be a, a main focal point of the city, so I want it to be quite a bit taller than the houses. So that means probably a few extra layers of sandstone before we add the terracotta in. And I'm not sure what color of terracotta I'm gonna go with yet. I still have a ton of yellow terracotta, but let me see what other colors I can come up with in the meantime. I'm gonna do this build in the form of a time lapse, so I'll see you guys when this build is done. And we now have the restaurant complete. So this is the build where the gang met up with the professor and got their fruity beverages. So you're gonna come in and I'm going to have a bar along here where you can order your drinks and a few tables around here, like I said earlier. But I'm gonna be doing the interiors in between episodes. Oh, and looks like I missed a few blocks up there. I'll have to fix that after. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing the interiors in between episodes and I am really happy with how this build turned out. What do you guys think? This place is already turning out really, really great. I mean, this is all just one episode. Now we just need to fill in a few more houses and this place is already gonna be pretty much complete. But with that being said, this is all the time I have for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps uh, push the video out to other people who haven't seen it yet. And consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Water Tribe out.